Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and today we're gonna play some more Okami. I'm gonna bark in 3, 2, 1. Just, uh, sinking. Anyway, on the last episode, we were definitely not here. We were in... The city. Sand City. And we were doing a bunch of side quests. It was actually probably one of my... One of the lamer episodes. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. It was alright. But, you know. It's side quest stuff. It was a filler episode. It, nothing crazy happened. Except for uh, the cat people giving us the power of Inferno. That was kind of weird. But other than that, nothing really happened in the last episode. Now, I've also been doing a lot of things off camera. Uh, for example, you may have noticed that my ink pots were green. And that is because I have a new tool. Uh, no, wait, it's an equipment. I have a new equipment! I have a new... thing! It's a golden ink pot. That cost me a hundred demon fangs, and I got it. So now my ink restoration speed has been increased. It's great, actually. It's it's wonderful. It was so worth it. I still need 70, uh, well, 69, more demon fangs to get the third thing that the Emperor was selling. The, uh... The thing that makes Isun steal from enemies. That would be really cool. Also, I purchased Golden Fury finally. I thought I already did that, but I didn't. Anyway, I got Golden Fury. I got a few other techniques as well. I didn't get them all, but I did get a couple. I got the Rosary one anyway. Which is the only one I care about. <laughs> okay, and I also got another couple of ink pots, I think. And... Uh, oh, yeah, I got a couple of um, solar energy tablets, so I got some more health. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys, like, a little slideshow of the things that I was up to. So, here you go.
All right, are you done watching? That's great. Okay, in that um, slideshow, you probably also saw me get some stray beads. Just uh, just a couple, though. A couple of the important ones, or the interesting ones. But um, I have got- I have been busy with the stray beads, all right? I've gotten a lot more than the ones that I showed you. So, I have quite a bit more beads than, uh, than I had previously. We should be up to, uh, 59, so we should have more beads than this, but I kind of stopped because I was tired and I didn't have much time to play, so. Yeah, but we should get up to 59, and we're probably gonna be up to a few more in this episode if we go into other areas, but, uh, <sighs> yeah, this is how many straight beads I have so far. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I told you I was going to 100% complete the game, and we're going to get there. Also, these are my animal stats, in case you were wondering. You know, got 67% sparrows, 46% hares, 81% monkeys. By the way, guys, if you ever see me miss an animal or a clover or whatever, list it in the comments. Even if it's something that's out of reach, that maybe I mentioned, like, oh, hey, there's a clover over there, but I can't get it because I don't have a certain power or whatever. If I say anything like that, or if you see anything in the background that I miss, even if it's just a chest, just point it out in the comment section. <laughs> I I want to get everything. I want to 100% complete this game. If you all right. Anyway, uh, the reason why I decided to park myself in front of this origin mirror is because I wanted to show you guys my new mist thing that I got, because I also got that from the Demon Fang Emperor seller. The Emperor. I got him for. I got the power of fog or whatever from the emperor. I don't know if that was in the slideshow I showed you or if that was on camera. That was probably on camera, I think. Anyway, unfortunately with that power, we can only travel between ultimate origin mirrors and ultimate origin mirrors are the ones that are fancy. So it's not all origin mirrors, unfortunately. It's only these, but still it is more uh, places to, tra to teleport between, so you know, it's something, I guess. Anyway, in order to use this transportation, you just draw an X over the, uh, origin mirror, and then you get the map. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to Sasa Sanctuary, because that's where we're supposed to go. Okay, hello! Yoo-hoo! Uh, Kaguya, I gotta talk to you. Uh. You know, I guess I could have taken the mermaid, uh, pond, and that probably would have gotten me closer to Kaguya, because Kaguya's probably around here somewhere. Also, I've been noticing these statues around uh, in places, and I don't know what they're for. But uh, I've noticed quite a few of them, and I wonder if they have some significance. They probably do, and I'm just forgetting it, but it's bothering me. <laughs> it's bothering me. Kaguya, are you around here? This is just going to be the guy and his dog. Wait, no, it's actually Kaguya and the old man. Okay, wow. The gods be praised! Is it really you, Kaguya? I never thought I'd see you again after the Emperor suddenly summoned you to Saiyan City. Kaguya, dear Kaguya. It feels like ages since we last met, Grandfather. I thought you didn't- s I thought you didn't consider him your grandfather. Whatever. My, look at all those new wrinkles. Have I worried you so? Oh, Grandfather. Sob. <laughs> I thought you guys would... I thought you guys would run into each other here. Look at that tiger. <laughs> I don't like that. It's like he's stalking us, man. He's gonna eat me. I'm happy for you two. Oh, Kakuya, let us live together happily ever after. We could sell my bamboo where just you and me. Huh? Oh, uh... Hmm? 
What's wrong, Kaguya? Do you have to return to the Emperor? No, that's not it. It's just... I cannot live with you, Grandfather. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about, Kaguya? You're not eloping or running away from something, are you? I didn't know you were here, Grandfather. It would have not- it would have been better if we had not met before I departed. Depart? Where are you going? I just choked my own spits, Granddaughter. I'm not sure. The royal crest carved into the earth here in Sasa Sanctuary. It calls to me. Okay. <laughs> I must go, Grandfather. My people need me. Oh, frick. What the? Kaguya, what are you doing? It's as if I'm being driven by some invisible force. Like a ghost. Only a different one. <laughs> below this crest, far below the earth, something linked to my mysterious past awaits. I must go. I must see what lies within this hole. Is it- is it time to dig? Are we gonna dig some more? Kaguya! Kaguya! No, don't do it, Bamboo Girl! It's too dangerous! She already did it. After her, Amy! Uh, I knew it'd be more digging. Oh, frick. Hold on. I've had some practice. I did a really hard digging game with, um... Uh, what's his name? That guy that was... Kind of weird. <laughs> that guy that was kind of weird. <laughs> you guys probably saw it in, uh... Excuse me, where's this girl? Hello, come down. Jeez, take forever. There's a guy looking for treasure. Anyway, his treasure wasn't so great. Got it. Eventually. Ow. No. Oh, no. frick. No. Oh, why? That's not the way I wanted to blow. Yeah, whatever. God dang it. Can you get up? Can you get up? Can you get up? I think she died. <laughs> um, oh no. This is not good. This is not a good place. This is not a good place to be. No, please don't come down here. Don't come down here. How do I get up? How do I- Hold it! How do I get up? What the frick? <laughs> Excuse me! Oh. I'm about to lose my mind. No! Oh! oh. Okay, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. What are we doing here? What are we- No? Uh-uh. You ain't going over there. I don't know where we're going, but you ain't going over there. Alright, alright. Here we go, here we go. Now we're talking. Ow. Down. Okay, finally, we're down here. Hurry, 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 hurry. I, s I mean it, hurry. I mean it, hurry. Well, I got 26 minutes this here. Okay, if you're sure. <laughs> Can we find your rocket ship? Are we going off to the moon? Are we going off to Bamboo Land? Whatever the frick you came from? <laughs> Did we find HGLL? <laughs> you going down there? With the demons? Oh, frick. No, oh, I really did find a rocket ship. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was going to be a rocket ship, but... Uh, I, I couldn't remember if, for sure if that was the case. But bamboo girl? What the heck? It looks like a bamboo shoe, except it's metal and insanely huge. Have you never seen a rocket before, Isu? I, I guess those aren't invented yet. Yeah, those aren't invented yet. <laughs> She's from the future, too. This... This is what was calling me. It's the link to my mysterious past. Dots! Kaguya! I knew! 
I knew that this giant bamboo shoot was buried here in Sasa Sanctuary. You did? But one day many years ago, I came here to cut down some bamboo. Suddenly this giant bamboo shoot appeared right before my eyes. Your cold and nearly lifeless body came tumbling out. Then this giant bamboo shoot disappeared back into the ground. You were as cold as ice and looked like you might die at any minute. I quickly picked you up and rushed home. My dearly departed wife and I nursed you back to health. We had always wanted a child. You were like a blessing from the heavens. Or from the earth, or from the bamboo, or wherever you came from. You brought joy into our lives, I couldn't tell you the truth. I feared that if you found out, you would seek out this strange bamboo shoot. I feared that it would take you away from us forever, like it's doing right now. Don't go! Don't go, Kaguya! Grandfather! <laughs> Dots. So, uh, oh my god, Issa. This is what's causing you to cry. <laughs> this nonsense. <laughs> Out of all the crazy stuff we've been through, it's this. I always thought of you and dearly departed grandmother as my real family. And that feeling shall never fade. Though I may leave, my heart remains with you. Remember that. But I cannot stay here with you. A mysterious force is calling me. I cannot resist. I must discover where I came from. Don't worry, I will come back to you. I just need to know. So I beg you, oh grandfather dear. See me off with a smile on your face. Okay, I will, Kaguya. Go wherever you want. I skipped that way too fast. I only ask that when you get there, you remember one thing. You are my precious grandchild. I, I guess you aren't my child. I mean, I, I wanted you to be my daughter and I... I guess I'm old, so you're a, you're my granddaughter, even though you could technically be my daughter. I mean, you look like you're in your 20s or something. And... Anyway, never forget that. You are my dearest, most precious grandchild. Oh, grandfather. <laughs> His precious grandchild. Dots. Uh, oh, I wasn't thinking about home or anything. No, really. Nisun, Amaterasu, I'm forever grateful to you. I could never thank you enough for what you did for me. But please accept this as a token of my appreciation. You obtained fire tablet. Ooh, the tablets! These are cool. These are, these are cool. I don't remember what the fire tablet does. I remember what another tablet does, but I don't remember what this one does. But you, they're cool. I think I know what it does. I don't want to say it in case I'm wrong. <laughs> Okay, I'll say it. I think it allows you to walk through fire. Or something similar to that effect. It, it makes you immune to fire, I think. It was my sole link to my mysterious past. But now that I'm returning home, I shall need it no longer. May I help you in your travels? It is time. Time for me to depart. Thank you, you two. Thank you, Grandfather. Farewell, and may we meet again someday. She goes. <laughs> well, it's gone. I wonder where it's headed. I hope that bamboo girl has a safe journey wherever it leads. Thoughts. Hey, Amy, get the lead, lead out. Let out. Lead out. <laughs> we had a we got sidetracked helping that bamboo girl. I don't even know why it's part of the main quest, man. But it told me to come here. Okay, this part was important. I had to get that fire tablet. Let's get going. We have work to do. We gotta rake that queen over the coals. She's got some explaining to do. Right. Hey. Uh. You okay there, pops? Kaguya, she's gone. So, oh, look at that tiger. Oh, so cute. Sleeping. So that giant bamboo sprout was a cradle to take her home. Sigh. 
My prayers are with you, dearest Kaguya. Alright. Look how cute they are, Bite. <laughs> don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. Time to, uh... Go to, um... Back to the queen, I guess. That was pretty random. <laughs> what does this do? Protection from fire. I was right. I was right. Uh, fire immunity. We might as well put it in the third slot. I mean, we have nothing else right now. Ooh. Oh, is that going to be a little annoying? I think it's kind of cool looking. It might be a little annoying because it's so glowy. I like it, though. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works! Ah, okay, I can't even get in there. <laughs> now, I don't really remember why we need this. I don't. Why do we need protection from fire? I don't remember. I'm gonna bark in 3, 2, 1. Wait, what am I doing? I can just use the mirror. Take me back, man. I don't want to walk all the way there, please. I probably should use the mermaid pond actually. I think there's a there's a mermaid pool and in, um inside the city, right? Or near the city. That would have taken me a little bit closer than the or than the origin mirror. Oh well. Also, I still haven't found that dude's pet, and I also have not found Hayato, the thief. I need to do those two things, especially find Hayato. Finding Hayato is might be important. <laughs> might be kind of important. I don't know. I've talked to a lot of people who have had their stuff stolen, possibly by Hayato, so I think it might be kind of important. But, uh... Oh, what do you want? Come here. You have an exclamation mark on your head. What do you want? Oh, okay. I just peed. <laughs> you guys get to watch that. You guys get to see me pee on things. That's cool, isn't it? No, come here. I need to pee on you. Thank you. Okay, now I can kill you. Alright. No! Oh, hey! Uh, that doesn't do anything to me, dude. <laughs> what do I do to these guys? Do I bomb them? I don't remember. I'm gonna get a terrible score on time because I'm goofing around. I'm sorry. Hey, I got two demon things from him. That's cool. <sighs> okay. Back to wherever the frick I was going. I was running into a guy. Yeah, where'd that guy go? When they have an exclamation mark over their head, that means they want something. He might want to race me again. I raced him earlier. You guys didn't get to see that. Well, actually, you might have gotten to see it in the... In the... Uh... In the beginning of this video, when I showed you guys the stuff I did off-camera, but I'm not sure if I recorded that. Hi there, Pooch! You ready to race me again? Okay, yeah, he, he does want to race me again. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm going around him, because he drops little chestnuts, which hurt. They're not fun. Alright. Got him. That was easier than the first time. Phew, you caught up with me again? You are fast, Pooch, a top sprinter. Why, wow, you've got two victories under your belt now. Yes, I do. Thank you for the praise. Anyway, back to the city. Alright, I'm gonna bark in 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're back here. I think this is where we're supposed to go. You're a persistent one, aren't you, Mutt? For whatever reason, the curse seems to have dissipated. There's still a sinister presence on the Ryoshima coast, though. But we won't let it lay a finger on Queen Himiko. No, I don't remember what the frick he just said. Bah, Queen Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. Maybe they can stand up to the evil of those monsters, but I bet they're no match for the brush techniques of the gods. Yeah, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to do this? I don't think that helps. Okay, yeah, that didn't help. Okay, am I supposed to burn them? Looks like they're dead to me. Aw, oh, frick. <laughs> Let me go talk to Rao. Maybe Rao will tell me. I do not want to go to the fortune teller. <laughs> she is way too far away. Now is exactly the time we need them. If only we had the fox rods. Yeah, okay, that didn't help me. <laughs> Bomb? 
Oh, that worked. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> what the frick? You guys weren't even here. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm looking it up. Oh, okay. That makes sense. There was one brush technique I didn't try, guys. My new one. <laughs> they didn't see me. They didn't see me. I was too fast and they were too slow. Dummies. Alright, let's go visit the queen. No, it's not gonna be nighttime when I visit the queen. Thank you. Back to morning. Everyone stay awake. It's still morning. <laughs> it's not evening yet. Alright, hold on. Sorry, I, I just- I'm on the hunt for beads. I really would like to find as many of them as possible. Uh, there's definitely a clover down there. Is this gonna get me into trouble? I hope not. Ba-ba-doop-boo, ba where are you? There you are, beady boo boo Thank you. Alright, anything back here? I'm gonna break these pots just cause I don't- I just wanna be careful. Better safe than sorry. What if there was a bead in there? Oh, chest. What do you have? You got a bead? I knew you'd have a bead. I just knew it. I just had a feeling that you would have a bead. Alright, and still before I go in there, I want to go into these side doors first. That's right, guys. I'm thinking like a 100% completionist person. I'm thinking. Give me this chest. It's mine. Crystal. What else is in here? Oh, one of these things. That's a Pokemon. <laughs> a Darmanitan. A Daru... Ma, I don't remember the first, what the pre-evolution is called. Another chest. Bead? No, just a bullhorn. How come the other chest looked to- Oh, there's more. Northern land. Okay. I'm never gonna look at that. I never look at these scrolls. I really should. Okay, there was nothing in there. What happens if I ring this? I didn't do that in the other one. Oh, I get money. I should have done it in the other one. And let's go finally meet who held up. I didn't look back here. <laughs> yeah, holy bone the M. So that guys, I have to think. I have to think harder. These some of these beads are really hard to find, by the way. They're really annoying. Okay, I don't really get what this little pond is for. Something tells me it has to do with that shrine over there. I don't know what though. All right, well, whatever. I'll figure it out. Let's go in here. Hello, Queen Himikahu. What are you, handmaiden? Why, it really is you. Her Majesty Queen Himiko has foreseen your coming. You must not delay. Please, Queen Himiko awaits on the top floor. Himiko's waiting for us. If you're really the ones Queen Himiko has been looking for, even a boiling sea of flames won't stand in your way, will it? True. Very true, because I have the fire tablet on me. Nothing can harm me now. Oh, found a stray bead. Look at that. I'm getting good at this, man. That's number two. Two down already? Let me look at my fan. Have I missed one? Uh, where are we? We should be down somewhere. I don't know exactly. <laughs> okay, I don't know where the beads are. I don't know what quarter we're in. Are we at the A quarter or the... The Musu? I don't freaking know. Well, I got some beats. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Where's the sea of fire I have to go through that I've forgotten about? Sort of. I've half forgotten about it. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Holy Artifacts. Scroll drawn by wandering artist. Contains useful information. Uh... Oh, I can just swim! <gasps> that's so nice! But also, I don't think I can make lily pads in there, so uh, that's not very nice. Queen Miko, it wasn't very nice of you to install a lava lake in your palace. What if your mother wants to visit? What is she going to do, hmm? Oh, I better save. Gonna bark in three, two, one. 
There we go. Queenie Mika! Oh, this looks like a place where they could easily hide a bead somewhere. Even jump up there. Okay, I guess they wouldn't hide any beads then. Never mind, Queenie Miko. Talk to me. Your place is kind of creepy. Hey, Amy. I bet that's Miko. Where? What? The ball? Looks like that freaky shut in is praying or something. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> I see her now. I didn't see it. I, for some reason, she just blended into the background. I couldn't tell that was a person. <laughs> the security here was pretty tight. But nothing we couldn't handle. Yeah, you tell her, Amy. Woof. Benevolent Amaterasu, I have been waiting for you. And Isun, the traveling artist. You too, of course. Wow, she even knows he's a traveling artist. Hey, how'd you know our names? Anyway, first things first. You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't ya? You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. That's... <laughs> my people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. <laughs> I bet you feel real bad now, Isun. You made a you made a lady cry. How could you? We know what's going on. Okay, I guess he doesn't. <laughs> we know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. Oh my god. That's... Isun, your words are very harsh. But you are right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. I like the fact that you wear fire on your head. You're, like, a, there's a campfire. A tiny... You're still hiding your face from us. Oh... What? God dang it. <laughs> Guys, I wish I could tell you what's going on in my life because this person sucks. <laughs> Why? It's 10 p.m. on a Monday. You, you're telling me this now? What? <laughs> you know what? Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, how I wish I could tell you guys what just what I just received. Oh, I wish I could tell you. Because <laughs> I'm gonna forget it by the time I can tell you, which will be in a freaking year or so. Ooh, that, that makes things so much more complicated. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, I'm gonna be fine, I'm gonna be fine, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> anyway, Benevolent Amaterasu, I, Himiko, the ruler of Saiyan City, offer my most sincere apologies. Oh yeah, I was talking about the campfire on your, fa on your head. I like that. It's nice. I wish I could have a campfire in my head. What's with the giant ball? <laughs> okay, ignore that. <laughs> that was my bedtime reminder. <laughs> Queen... Oh, wait, I know, I'm the narrator. Queen of Saiyan City Himiko. Duts! Well, he's dead. Yay! <laughs> no more he soon. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Saiyan. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Until I have located the hateful monster's stronghold, Oni Island. I completely forgot about this part of the game. <laughs> or have I? I don't know, it depends. I gotta see what Oni Island looks like. What's this about a monster stronghold? Are you saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've ever heard of Oni Island or whatever you call it. Really, Yusun? All the children have been talking about it. And you haven't heard about- what are you- t have you not been listening to all the children and their grandparents? 
<laughs> All the children talking about their grandparents, their weird grandparents were like, Oh, the demons from Odi Island, they'll get ya. And then there was that peach boy. He also was talking about Oni Island. So many people have been talking about it. And what do you mean you're trying to locate the island? I mean, it's an island, right? It couldn't have just floated away. Oni Island is elusive. It vanished. It vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. No one knows where the in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dis dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. You don't say. It's a good thing we're a god. Still, why'd you stay cooped up in this room all day long? I mean, what good will it do you to simply pray day in and day out? Isun, she has a lake of lava. <laughs> a, a few doors down that hallway. Do you remember the lake of lava? I don't think she can leave. <laughs> She locked herself in here with that stupid moat of lava. She's stuck. She's stuck in here. Oh god, what are you gonna do with that? Is she trying to mess with us? This is the treasured crystal ball. My family, the Yamatai clan, has ruled Saiyan forever, Saiyan City forever. This crystal ball has been passed down through the generations. I can foresee the future in it. It told me you were coming. And it will tell me where in the ocean Oni Island will appear next. Interesting. You could find Oni Island in a jiffy with that thing. Woof woof. <laughs> Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands much holy power. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. That is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope. But the spearhead of the enemy's forces may already be on its way. Dots. Heh. <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Queenie. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? I'd do anything for a pretty lady. <laughs> oh no, don't do anything stupid. Thank God. <laughs> there was a barrier. Ouch! Thanks for the warning! Be careful. You cannot approach me now. By taking this crystal ball in my hand, a powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. You will be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. Don't ask why I said divine like that. This crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. Great. So, uh, that includes me, right? No? I'm fine now. <laughs> okay. Amaterasu, I entrust- I entreat you once again. Will you hear my request, the request of all my people? I guess so. Sounds boring. <laughs> the mighty water dragon now threatens the peace of the oceans. I don't know why it has suddenly turned to savagery. The water dragon is a sea god whose task is to maintain order. So though it may cause harm, we invite chaos if we try to slay it. In fact, without the water dragon, Oni Island is beyond our reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Keep talking. Quit beating around the bush and just spit it out already. The key to reaching Oni Island lies in the water dragon. I really don't remember this. <laughs> I really don't. Maybe I do. No, I, I don't. I don't remember this. I remember what comes after, but I don't remember this. <laughs> this part, just like the... The, uh... Emperor's body part has been lost. Has It's been lost in my memory. It's like I'm drawing a blank at this entire section and I don't understand why because I remember clearly what happens afterwards. I know what happens after this island. I, I do. And I know what happens after that. <laughs> but I don't know this part. And it's bothering me. It's bothering me. <laughs> Even if the crystal ball shows me the location of the island, the island's powerful shield will prevent us from reaching it. 
any attempts to break the shield will only result in our own pain. But at the same time, I'm pretty glad that I have, like, completely forgotten a few parts of this game, because some parts of the game feel completely new to me, and that's really nice. But at the same time, it's driving me insane, because I'm like, I should know this game. I should know this game. I played it so many times, why can't I remember this specific part? It's bothering me. <laughs> but the water dragon could break the shield with ease. It could form a bridge over the sea to the island. So you're saying that you'll reveal the location of Oni Island, and the water dragon will break the barrier around it? Is that the only way to get into the enemy's stronghold? But what about the water dragon? It's out of control, right? I seriously doubt it'll be happy to help us. That is why I must ask for your help, Amaterasu. Your powers could calm the water dragon and get it to help us. I cannot leave this palace, for my prayers require all my energy. You are the only one who can take on this important task. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I gotta still talk to you? You want us to make friends with that rampaging water dragon? Well, I'd do anything for a cute babe. <laughs> but if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we gonna help Amiko or what? Yeah. Bummer. Well, the boss is spoke. Huh? What was that, Amy? Oh, Amaterasu, you... Why did I call you that? Oh, Amaterasu, you are truly benevolent. So I entrust you with this border key. Use this key to cross the border and continue into the land beyond. Dope. It is said there is a race which controls the water dragon. They live in the sea beyond the border in the Dragonian Domain. D another thing I don't remember, but okay. They may have some connection with the dragon's recent behavior. Please calm the water dragon and open the path to Oni Island. Dope. I'll do that. God, I can't believe how much of this game I have forgotten. <laughs> Past uh, the Orochi battle. I mean, I knew! I knew I would forget a few things past the Orochi battle. Because, uh, as a kid, you know, I replayed the game, and then I would get to the Orochi part, and I'd be like, Eh, that was good enough, I guess I'll put the game down, and then I'd quit for a while, and then I'd re come back to the game, and I'd be like, I don't remember anything, let's p replay from the beginning! <laughs> and I've only completed the game maybe once or twice, from beginning to actual end, not beginning to the Orochi battle. But still, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank and it's bothering me. <laughs> now look at the mess you've gotten us into, Furball. Well, at least we know who's been controlling the water dragon. But let's go pay the draconian domain a visit. Can't wait, babe. <sighs> Alright, so where does this border key go? Where do I go? That's a good question. Where do I go? I don't know where this goes. Border key? Oh, I got. I guess I'll figure it out. I guess. Oh, freak. Hey, how did you get in here, mutt? This is terrible. How did you get past our foolproof defenses? How could we let Queen Himiko down like this? Oof, get out of here, mutt. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going. Hey, Rao. You want to talk to me about the fox rods again? Nah, I'm kidding. I don't want to talk to you. Man, I sure hope the border key goes where I think it goes. Otherwise, uh, you know what? I better look it up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, my phone just fell on my foot. Oh my god. Okay, the border key does go where I thought it went, so we're fine. We're good. Hey, buddies, I got the key. What is it, pup? You want to cross the border? You'll have to speak to my colleague. Okay, shut up. <laughs> hmm? Hey, that's a border key, a permit from Queen Himiko to cross in the border. What on earth are you doing with something like that? Rules are rules, anyone bearing that's allowed to pass here. You must be on some very important business, I suppose. I'll open the gate straight away. Great. Thank you, pal. Well, let's go. Hey, North Ryoshima Coast. I don't even remember this area at all. <laughs> Now then, where's this Dragonian Domain? Sounds like something that might be under the sea, but I'd rather not have to get wet if I could help it. And it's not because I'm afraid of that pesky water dragon. It's just that you swim so slow that you practically put me to sleep. I agree. I... I couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh, Frick. What are you doing here? <laughs> Why? You just... you just popped into existence. What the Frick? I hate you. I hate you, man. I was having such a good day, and then you had to appear. Bonjour, Amaterasu. I can never get a voice right. Frick. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna ask the internet. 
random uh, accent generator. And whatever accent I get, that's just the accent that you're gonna have, okay? So there you go. These aren't, a well, they're not accents, they're uh, imper impersonations. I'm not good at impersonations, I don't even know who half these people are. Okay, I got British historian David Attenborough. For Borough. I feel like I know who that guy is. Let me just look him up and hear what his voice sounds like. Okay, yeah, there's no way my voice could ever sound like his voice. We're just gonna go with British. Yeah, you know what? I'm making the French Japanese pirate British. Why not? Why the frick not? He needs a voice. I can't figure out what to give him. So I'm just gonna make him British. <laughs> Which kind of British am I going for? The only one I can do, okay? And I don't even know what it is would be classified as. So, bonjour, Amaterasu. I trust you enjoyed your little adventure through that hole. Don't say <laughs> words like that. Oh, what the frick? Adventure through the hole. The city's air has sure cleared up thanks to you. Just ignore him and maybe he'll go away. Come on, Amy. Why so grumpy today? Didn't you notice the view? It used to be one big curse zone out here, but yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions. What? I really wanted to wait for you to- uh, for- I really wanted to wait for you to, but I couldn't stand leaving the sea in such a cursed state. Ah, oh, the sea off Ryoshima coast is back to its beautiful self. Is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my little friend? Dots! Well, what's that supposed to mean, pretty boy? Oh, just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you're a wandering artist now. I wanted to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one would be fine. Pretty, pre 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 please. <laughs> huh? My art's none of your business. Why should I show you anyway? You really are in a bad mood today. You're not one of those impostors who claims to be an artist but could not paint a picture of his life depended on it, are you? What? Oh, nothing. It's just something some old man mentioned. His grandson, who was also his apprentice, ran away from home. And he took the old man's painting of a wood sprite with him. Do you think he might claim to have painted that masterpiece? I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it's hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Now make like a tree and leave. Or you can stick around if you'd rather get sliced and diced. Excuse him, moi. You do not have to get all hot under the collar. It would appear I have struck a raw nerve. <laughs> well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll just be on my merry way. Au revoir, baby! <laughs> I don't know how to say that in a British accent. <laughs> that was French and English. I can't do- I- um, <laughs> Oh, what now? It's another wheel. It's a nose wheel. Okay. <laughs> I like the hair. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Alright, what if I use mist? I bet you don't like that. Uh, excuse me? I said I bet you don't like that. Yeah, I knew it. I knew you wouldn't like it. Yep, see? I knew it. I just had a feeling. Do it again. Maybe it hates that. Oh, I got three demon fangs. Heck yeah, I knew it. I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling that uh, mist beats wind. I don't know why, but I was right. I was indeed correct. Okay, Easton's not gonna say anything about the nose that just attacked us. All right. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. That's fine. Now, as much as I would love to continue playing, um, I actually cannot because uh, it it's late and it's Monday. I got things to do in the morning, so unfortunately that's gonna be it for this time, guys. I know I didn't really do much except for talk for an hour, but you know what? Whatever. We met Queen Himiko. We got the fire thing. That's really all we did. We did like nothing else. <laughs> there was no gameplay, just talking. But that's okay. This this one can be boring. That's fine. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this time, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully things will be a little more interesting. Bye.